Hey, Ren. All right, hey guys, how we doing? Um, this is going to be another episode of Eight Weeks to a Great Physique, except I said I'd start getting into more of the dietary aspect of uh, the Eight Weeks to a Great Physique episodes I'm putting out. And this is going to be that. And this episode is actually going to revolve around your metabolism. Now, for those of you that aren't really quite sure what your metabolism is, your metabolism is how many calories your body burns by doing nothing. Say if you were to, I don't know, be a couch, pota uh, couch potato, lay in bed for 10 hours. How many calories would you burn with just your body working? You know, your organs functioning, your digestive system. It's basically what your car needs to run on gas is your metabolism. Okay? Now, the best way to describe the metabolism, I'm going to make it sound almost like this. Uh, I'm going to compare it to a wood-burning stove, all right? Now, if you throw all the wood in at once into a wood-burning stove, you're going to get a big, big flame that's going to heat everybody up. Everybody's happy. The only problem is, a few hours later, once all that wood's burned down, you no longer have any more flame. That's exactly how your metabolism works. And really, controlling your metabolism is what will shape your physique. Whether you're a small guy and you want to get bigger, kind of like Jake. Jake started off a, <laughs> he started off a rail, like all of a buck 45. That was like a buck 35. Buck 35. Put on 25 pounds. Yeah, now he's 161 because he's eating right. But back to the metabolism. It also works if you're, it's even more important if you're a big guy trying to lose weight, okay? Basically, here's what you do for the eight weeks of the Great Physique Diet. You eat five to six meals a day. This process is a process called grazing. And it's basically separating those three big meals you were going to have into five or six small to medium-sized meals. And why this is so great is it lets your metabolism constantly be burning because you're eating every three hours or every two to three hours. You're just not eating a lot. So it's like putting just a little bit of fuel in your tank. Just put a little bit of wood in the fire, a little bit of wood in the fire, a little bit of wood in the fire. And by doing this, you're going to have a fire last all day long instead of just a couple of hours. Now, another example I'm going to compare it to as far as eating the three big meals a day, okay? I want you to picture, picture, I don't know, a 16-ounce glass, all right? A 16-ounce glass with a hole just above the middle in it. If you overfill this 16 ounce glass, everything's going to spill out of this hole. But if you put just enough in that 16 ounce glass that the water is right below the hole, you're not going to lose anything. Now what this really is, this is like your body and taking in food. Your body can only absorb so many calories at one time, and that little hole in the glass is what's gonna really explain it for you. If you overfill that glass or if you eat too much food, your body is gonna spill and it'll be one big fat mess or you'll gain adipose tissue or fat tissue. Adipose is the technical term for fat. But if you only eat just enough that you're right below that hole on that 16 ounce glass, your body will burn it and you won't have to worry about any gain. That's the big advantage of eating multiple meals a day. Another big advantage of eating multiple meals a day, you know, five, six meals a day, is it's a constant flow of nutrients to your body. It's a constant flow of protein to your muscles. And really, once you start getting into this aspect of building your physique up or trying to lose weight, you really have the most control over it and you will get the greatest results from it. Okay? But yeah, like I said, it's a lot like a wood-burning fire. You want to keep just putting a little bit of wood in the fire all day long. And by keeping your, metabol your metabolism always running, by giving it a little bit of food at a time, you'll actually in turn not only feed your body, feed your muscles better, but you'll also increase your metabolism because you won't really have to worry about your blood sugar crashing because you're not eating a huge amount than only absorbing so much of it and getting the rest of it stored. But for instance, um, my base metabolism, based on my body size, is about 2,500 calories. So 
I usually eat five to six meals, um, five to six meals a day of roughly 400 to 500 calories. So really, if it's six meals of 400 calories, I'm at 2,400 calories. If it's if time's a little short for me, and I'm doing five meals of 500 calories, I'm at 2,500 calories. Now, by just eating that, I'm meeting my metabolism. My body has just enough of what it needs to burn. Now, once I start throwing working out into the equation or exercise, I might be burning an extra 500 calories. So I'm giving my body enough energy to function, 2,500 calories for me, but I'm burning an extra 500 calories. And that extra 500 calories I'm burning, I'm going to be burning from fat. And roughly one pound of fat is around 36 to 3,700 calories. So each day, we'll take it five, we'll take it a seven day a week diet. I'm 500 less. Let's see, Monday, Tuesday, there's a thousand. Wednesday, Thursday, another thousand. Friday, Saturday, another thousand. We're at 3,000. Then Sunday, about 500. So in that one week, just by burning 500 more calories than what I took in, I burnt one pound of body fat. Now, the big thing is you don't want to only eat one or two meals a day and be like, oh, I'm just not going to eat for the rest of the day because then your metabolism isn't working for you. Make your metabolism work for you. That's another reason why diet and exercise is so important. But like I said, this was just going to be a short little video just to kind of give you an idea of how your metabolism works just in case you didn't really have a good, a good idea. So a lot of people know the word metabolism, but they don't know how really it's used and how it benefits you. But like I said, I will go more into this in another video. This was just a short video to kind of, you know, lay down, you could say, the skeleton for the other videos. And this is on your metabolism. All right, but definitely, hey, guys, always uh, rate, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, be sure to check out my other videos. I'm also going to be doing that shopping video, too, soon, so you can actually see what I'm putting in my body to change who I am, which I am down a few pounds. I, was, I started at 184. I'm about 182 right now. And that was in, uh, that's about a week and a day. But yeah, definitely. Hey, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about this video. And yeah, I will see you folks later. All right, see you later, guys. Bye.